Hey everyone and welcome to today's tutorial. In this video I will show you step by step how to swap tokens on MetaMask. Now the first thing you need to do is to of course open up your MetaMask. Now I've already logged in into my account, however if you're not logged in make sure to do so. Then the next thing you want to do is to press right here on advanced options or account options and then click on expand view. You'll then get MetaMask in full screen. So the next thing you want to do is to select the right network. In this case on the Ethereum mainnet I don't have any funds available at all. However if you do have your currency on here it will be the exact same process. So once you have selected the right chain you simply want to go over to swap and then go over to swap from and click right here. Now you'll need to search for the currency you would like to swap. And once you have selected the right token for swap from make sure to fill in the amount. In this case I don't have a lot available, however the next thing you need to do is to go over to swap 2, click on select token and select the token you would like to convert your currency into. Then you simply want to go over to advanced options and you'll then have to fill in the slippage tolerance. In most cases 2% will do, however there are certain currencies out there, for example Safemoon and for those if you want to buy them you'll need to have your slippage tolerance on 12%. However as told right here that's very high. So I'll just leave it at 2% and then the next thing you want to do is to click on refuse swap. You'll then see that for me if I want to swap it I need 0.0017 BNB more to complete this swap. So if that's the case it's basically the fee you'll need to pay. Now the reason for that is because MetaMask is decentralized which means that the fees are not excluded from your amount but the fees come on top of it. So for example I would have to withdraw 0.012 or like 1.1 or 1.1 BNB into let's say quit and then you need to click once again on the advanced options and click on refuse swap. You then see fetching quotes, you'll see that you'll get new quotes in 40 seconds and the estimated gas fee. Now this is the most important part of this screen and once you're happy with the gas fee you're about to pay just click on swap. If you would like to change the estimated gas fee Click on edit and then click on either fast or average. Or if you know what you're doing, you can go over to advanced and click on gas price or guai and gas limit. And then just simply click on save and click on swap. If you found this video helpful, let me know by leaving a like or subscribing to my channel for more tutorials about cryptocurrencies.